Hey guys, I wanted to show you a little video that would help you when it comes to Google Chat. Um, if you go to chat.google.com and hit enter, it will basically take you to a chat panel that you have access to if you have a Grace Church email. So if you're logged into email, it's pretty simple. You just go to chat.google.com and it'll take you straight there. Uh, you can choose whether you're active or not. I'm active. You can mess with your notification settings. But what this will allow you to do is replace the tool that we're using uh, in Podio that has a lot of the chat features where you're adding people and so forth. Uh, there's a couple different areas where you can go look for people. You can create a group message. You can create a room. So for instance, over here, I've got a couple rooms that I've created the rock admin team so for the six members that we actually have on the team if we're communicating to them and we're having conversations uh, we can do that here you can click on a room and you can go add people to that room or you can rename the room it's pretty easy to create a room uh, you just basically click that create a room and call it test and hit the create button and then you would start adding people to that room. So for instance, if I wanted to go add uh, Will Fala, uh, let's say I want to go add Tina Rush, I want to go add Molly Vegas um, and Rachel Asire and hit send. So what's going to happen is they all just got an email inviting them and I'm going to go down here and click on this little thread here and just say, hey guys, I'm doing a video uh, training to show how to cre create um, chat rooms and then hit enter. So everybody gets that. Everybody goes and, and gets that thing. Um, you can, so they'll get an email, they'll be notified that they were added to that room. And then if somebody was to, if I need to, let's say I just need to specifically talk to Tina. Okay, so let's do this at Tina. Uh, she'll show up and I'm just going to say, hey, Tina. Uh, can you respond? Oh gosh, can you respond so people can see? So, um, yeah, that will directly communicate to her. Uh, she is on, so if she will respond to me, that'll show up. You can also uh, start Google Hangouts from here. If you click this little button, it'll it it won't click the Hangout until you hit Enter and you send it to them. You know this little send icon, but that actually that would actually open up a Hangout right then. Um, so I'm going to delete that because I don't want that. Um, and there's all kinds of different like you know little emojis and different things that you can do over here. So the other day. Uh, um, you know, we were playing around, Will and I were, and we created our own little, you know, COVID-19 operations. We were playing around with that. Um, but you can see anybody that's on over here in these rooms, like Sarah's on, Christina Baker's on. Now, where they might be on might not be chat.google.com. They might be in their email. And if you're looking at your email, for instance, you can see this little sign in. So if I was to sign in right here, then the chat feature would all of a sudden be live. I have that I'm, I'm not signed in there because I would rather have that open here in my chat. So that's one thing that you can do. Uh, you can play around with that. You can go find people. So if I'm looking for, you know, let's see if I could find, um, you know, Blake Payne. Um, so there's Blake. He's not in my thread yet on my left hand side. So I'm going to click that and then that would give me the chance to start talking to him. If I say something to him, of course, he's going to get an email that says, hey, Chris is using chat to, to communicate with you. So that might be something that you might want to think about as a way to communicate to teams. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and we'll go from there. OK, thanks.